Team coverage continues with an incredible tribute to the victims. It comes from a man who drove here all the way from Chicago. Yeah, his way of honoring the victims is truly remarkable. News 6 investigator Erica Washington is live outside ORMC. You can see the wind all of a sudden impacting her as well uh. right now. Erica, <laughs> this is a very powerful display this guy puts on. You know, we talk about acts of kindness, Matt, and people showing and the outpouring of love. Well, this man showed his love in the form of a cross. I'm going to step aside so you can see them behind me. They're now putting photos on those crosses. But he started building them Sunday night, and he was determined to bring them here to Orlando as soon as possible. Greg Zanus made 49 crosses representing each victim killed at the Pulse nightclub. My thing is I'd like him to quit talking about the gunmen and the gun issues and the, the, the gender issues and all that. Just love your neighbor, love your brother. He loaded them into his pickup truck and brought them here to ORMC. The wooden crosses are lined up side by side with the victim's name, their age and a heart, where he encourages people to leave a message for the family. Some of them were signed in Nashville when I was coming down here. One of them was signed in Indianapolis when I'm coming down here, and, um, Chattanooga. And, you know, people come up to the rest areas and I say, you want to write on them? You know, so they say all those cities on them. Now, Greg plans to give these crosses to the families. Um, he says that he encourages people to come out from all over and write and write on these uh, hearts, messages to the family. You know, he's done this for mass shootings all over the country. He says his goal is to one day never have to put another cross together in, in the name of a loved one. They're reporting live right outside of ORMC, Orange County, Erica Washington, News 6. Well, we all 